Welcome to Cofield Country Outdoors. Today we're going to go through how to tune a uh, long spring trap. Uh, this is a uh, Sleeper Creek number three. Anyways, so uh, I bought these about three or four years ago. Uh, all I've done with them is boiled them and waxed them and uh, I'm going to start using them for cat trapping a little bit I believe. Uh, so anyways, let's go through how to tune it. First thing we're going to do is, is we're going to increase the pan tension on this trap quite a bit. So I'm going to take this bolt right here and tighten it down. All right, makes a pretty stiff pan. Now I'm going to do the initial set. I'm going to get my pan level with my jaws, like so. All right, now I'm going to trip the trap. As you can tell, there was almost an inch and a half of creep there. That's unacceptable. Uh, anyway, so now let's get her tuned up. So I'm going to reset the trap again. Put my dog in there, get my pan, get my pan level. I'm gonna take my screwdriver and I'm gonna scribe where the pan and the dog meet. Like so. Trip the trap. Then I'm gonna take my pliers. Now this takes a little bit of a little bit of hand strength, but uh, it works really well. I'm going to grab it right where I scribed. With my pliers, take my thumb and my forefinger and stabilize the rest of the dog. And then I'm going to bend a 90 degree to almost, almost a 90 degree, not quite. Just like so, okay? Now let's see where we uh, ended up tuning our dog. So I'm gonna reset the trap. And now as you can see, it's set flush with the tip of the dog. And I fold it in, my pan is very level, it's very acceptable. So now let's see about our creep. There might have been eighth of an inch creep. So I'm gonna call that pan good. Now let's do the pan tension. Reset this trap. Now I like setting my traps. There, there's tons of people out there, they set them different. I set mine just a hair over two and a half pounds. And uh, I know a lot of people, they say three pounds, four pounds, five pounds. The biggest thing is to make sure the animal's committed into the trap. So I've got my trap set. Now I'm gonna take a two and a half pound weight. And I'm gonna set it on this pan. So I'm a little heavy. All right, so that's an easy fix. I'm gonna take my screwdriver. Put it in that screw, and I'm gonna give it just a, maybe a, maybe a eighth of a turn. Very little. I'll set my weight back on there until there's right in the center of the pan. Still a little heavy. So I'm gonna give it a little more turn. Loosen it just a touch. Set my weight back in. a little heavy. I 
this might take several times. All right. A little heavy. I think we got a little light then. So we'll go back and we'll give it just a smidge turn, tighten it. Reset the trap. Perfect. So anyways, this trap has been tuned and I'll reset it again, kind of show you what it looks like. I bent my dog up. When the trap's set, as you can see, it's just the tip of that dog is underneath the pan right there. So that minimizes your creep. And the way you know it's set right is how it's even. The tip of the dog is even with underneath the pan. Double check our uh, pan tension. Perfect. Anyways, guys, well, uh, I hope this helps somebody, and uh, good luck on the trap line.